Welcome to Swish, vintage finds for your sassy self. We hope you enjoy the videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Morning. Morning. Both of us were running late this morning, so we're a bit flustered and um, yeah. <laughs> such a gorgeous day though, finally. Yes. Yay. Yay. So I'm just going to jump right in because we're probably late. And um, I'm going to start with these super, super wicked blouses. Yeah. So if you watched any of our uh, unbagging videos or um, recently, uh, some that are posted on YouTube, we have a YouTube channel. Uh, I got a big estate of stuff from a lady in Camrose and in the bag was a whole pile of these fabulous kind of peasant mm -hmm. blouses. So I'm not sure if she made them because she was a seamstress according to her family um, or if what she was maybe doing is doing the embroidery embellishment on them. Um, this one has the crocheted trim on it. This one does not. But anyways, there's probably about eight or nine of them in total. Slight variations to the sleeves and to the trim. So this one is kind of a medium large. It's got that great, this uh, pleating here or gathered, gathered here and the square neckline. This is just such a good summer blouse. And they're just like the crispest cotton. They're so, they're perfect. I was <laughs> going to be really, um, yeah, I was going to iron them and I actually didn't. Uh, I, I used a steamer, but an iron, of course, is going to make them even crisper. So they all are about $85. Um, this one, like I said, has got some really nice little crocheted trim on it that looks to be something that's added on, whether that's uh, homemade uh, crochet or machine done crochet, I'm not sure. But anyways, really great little cotton. Um, I've thrown um, a Liberty scarf, you know, us and our scarves. So this blouse is a little bit smaller. Uh, this is one of the new Yoko pieces. So this is um, Paisley, Burgundy and Navy. There's the Liberty right there. This scarf is $30 and it's kind of a mini one. So it'd be perfect around the neck. Or as a pocket square. Oh yeah. yeah. And I have also got this piece from that same lady and I've been doing laundry, 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 laundry. This is really great. This, this, see how many times have I said great? <laughs> Somebody said that I say great too many times. So and you say now great I'm very, and I say fun. Yeah. <laughs> we are great fun together. <laughs> so this reminds me of my sister Jacqueline who just celebrated a birthday yesterday. So happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Wish we were there with you. But she would have probably had this, uh, almost this exact same one. This looks like one from the store Orientique. So if you are an Edmontonian, you would remember that Orientique was downtown, just on Jasper Avenue and 101st, right where the uh, CIBC is. It was, up, it was three stories and it had all the great sandals and the hippie kind of boho clothing. Like by where I, I live? Yeah. Oh. It was fabulous. I worked there for a week. <laughs> <laughs> the owner was a real character anyways uh so this is navy with a bit of burgundy and it's a wrap skirt on the tag it says fits most so it's one of those ones where there's quite a bit of um, room to um, wrap it around you so this is 85 dollars and i'm showing this fabulous saint john sweater mm -hmm. we love saint john we love saint john knits St. John used to be available at Holt Renfrew. Of course, it's not anymore. This is $155 and it's a medium. Look how great that is. And I'm going to get you to hang on to, oh, no, I'm going to give you that. <laughs> so you can just pretend you're in Italy, Ooh. you know, do this over your shoulders, or you can do it this way, which is really yes. cute on trend. Yep. You can just tie it like that or you can just wear it like a regular cardigan <laughs> and Natasha's got my scarf so she can show a close-up of that this is another Liberty scarf from Yoko it's silk as well and it's the paisley 
navy. Is it Liberty? Actually, no, it's not Liberty. This one's not Liberty. No, this one isn't. And how much is that one? Oh, right. I think this that one one's is 30. 32. 32. <laughs> this is a new piece we just got in. I love this piece. Yeah. This is Kenzo. This is um, like a windbreaker. It's got the hood tucked in here and it's a floral. So it just it sort of elevates the, the regular kind of yes. windbreaker look. This is a <laughs> bit more, you know, high fashion. And uh, of course, Kenzo passed away last year, I believe. So I think that a lot of these pieces are, are going to be really collectible because they were yeah. actually designed by him. Yeah. So this one is 325 and I paired it with these Ooh. great indigo yeah, they're... wide leg jeans. They're really soft. They're quite nice. high waisted. They're a smidge too small for me. Sure. Too many cupcakes. Um, so I have to let them go and they have to find a new home. But these are really gorgeous. These are about a size 28 inch waist and they are 98. And last but not least, oh right, this is a good one. They're all good ones. This isn't really super summery, but I just had to show it because it's part of the navy colors that I have. So this is a, a knit dress and this just came in yesterday from one of our uh, people that um, bring us stuff. And she said that her grandma had this made in Calgary by um, somebody who did knit pieces. Like, um, I can't tell if this is hand knit. Uh, it's got these beautiful, beautiful intricate, like a glass button that are faceted here. So that leads me to think that this is 40s. Mm -hmm. It's also got the big bat wing sleeves, this, this little waist. waist. This kind of looks like a dress that mm which was 80s, was, um, oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm drawing a complete blank. Okay, it'll come to me in a moment, but it was a, a really couture-y design. Oh, Alaya. I was gonna say that. This, remember that brown dress that yes. we had? Azadine yeah. Alaya. So this could be an 80s, sort of a, you know what? I'm gonna, while you're talking, I might even find that Alaya dress that we have if we, oh, we don't have it here. <laughs> Never mind. But this is an Alaya vibe, so maybe it is 80s. Anyways, it's spectacular. It's 175. It's cotton. It's knit. It's beautiful. Okay, I'll stop talking. Okay, I'm going to start with my most fabulous piece, which is this. And I put it on the stories last weekend, um, but in case you don't watch the stories, here it is. This is a full-length gown, and it's all silk. This beautiful ruffle, this cutout. This is contemporary. It's Giambattista Valley for H&M. So if you know about H&M, they do some collaborations with some um, like big fashion designers and then they make really spectacular pieces. Limited time. Yeah, exactly. Like this, they sell out like instantly. So this is from, I think 2015? But Gian Battista Valley, that's like red carpet. Yes. Spectacular. I think Claire Danes wow. uh, was photographed in this dress. Stunning. Uh, it's about a size two. It's an H&M 36, but it's it's tiny if you know H&M uh, sizing. Anyways, it's 470 or 495. Perfect for grad if you still need a dress. Um, for a wedding, whether you're getting married or attending, a bridesmaid's dress. I don't know, maybe brunch with your girlfriends. Can you imagine? It's oh my so gosh. fabulous. So someone needs to come try this on so we can see what it looks like on someone. That um, would be like superstar, superstar. I mean, I, if it fit me, I'd be wearing it right now. Yeah. Uh, last weekend, we had a girl who came in with her soon-to-be husband, and they're going to be getting married in Las Vegas. Uh, and she wanted like a really fun vintage dress. And I said, come back because there's going to be like a bunch in really great sizes. And this is one of them. I think this would be a really sweet alternative wedding dress. Like I like the neckline, it's lower. I like this little cap sleeve. And then it's, it's got just got enough gold. sparkles. Yeah. So this is, it's a maxi also. This is, so someone should try this on or maybe I'll try it on. I think it would fit me. It's really beautiful. 70s of course. It's got a 40 bust, a 32 waist, and a 42 hip for 110. Like, oh, a little. That would be such a great wedding dress. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, this came from the dry cleaners recently. Just a perfect little cotton 1950s summer dress with this really interesting kind of neckline. Uh, I love these 50s cotton dresses because they're... These look sort of like the Alberta rose, the wild rose too. Oh, totally. Yeah. They're just perfect for, for summer. They're super easy to wear with a jean jacket and Keds or Converse or whatever you want to wear. This is me doing a shot. If I said jean jacket or she said jean jacket. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a small, it's got a 36 bust, a 26 waist and a free hip for 158. And then I thought, can you hold this for a second? Yeah. You know, it might be cute to spice it up with something a little unexpected like this blazer, which um, is not the same era, but I, I like the it's all color. about mixing. Yeah, mixing the eras. So this is uh, an Armani. This is, yeah, this is 80s in uh, this kind of chartreuse neon-y color. It's a size two for 120, but here's a little close up. It's got these pockets and this kind of, it's not a peplum, but a little kind of yeah kick. I don't know. Anyways, it's I a great color. I don't think it's color. 80s, I think it's 90s. But, right, I was yeah. like feeling for shoulder pads. Yeah. 80s, it's 90s. Fabulous. Yeah. Okay, you can put that down. <laughs> <laughs> My next little outfit is another 50s skirt and you can see I'm obviously doing pinks this week. Again, this is cotton, so perfect for summer and really easy to wear. This one is a 27 waist and a full hip, of course, for 120. And someone's, you know, if it's a little too big, you just use the other button. People used to just do that because that makes sense <laughs> to move the button or add another button. Yeah. And then I've paired it with this little, this is just a super vintagey outfit to the sheer little blouse, um, which is probably from the 40s. It's a size small for $45. And I like the ruffly tuxedo kind of yeah, look. And my last one is this. I love Ted Beautiful. Baker. And last week you were wearing that vintage blazer that had like a Ted Baker, Dolce & Gabbana vibe. Yeah. This is actually Ted Baker in this... Um, um, Come on, words. It's like neoprene, kind of. Almost. Yes, yeah. it is neoprene, but I'm oh. thinking of the, like, it's a kind of like pixelated. Oh, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Graphic. Abstract graphic. Yeah. yeah. Really stunning. The back, it just, everything is just really beautiful and draped, really gorgeous. It's about a size eight for 160. Again, perfect for. And this goes off the shoulder, so you can wear it off Ooh. the shoulder. So pretty. Perfect for wedding. Um, attending mother of the bride that'd be pretty sassy um with a jean jacket <laughs> <laughs> and not if you're mother of the bride no but if you're just going to brunch a tiramisu yes. or something you can put a jean jacket yeah. on yeah uh anyways it's about wearing pieces every day and appreciating them and just wearing them with something that makes them less formal yeah less formal exactly so you can wear all of your clothes and not say I have to wait for a special occasion, or I Where have no am I going to wear this? It's just too dressy. It. Just wear it. Absolutely. This woman came in yesterday. She tried on two maxi dresses. Oh. She looked like she was from a magazine, and she yeah, said, "Well, I have nowhere to wear them." It's like but on the street, you know, <laughs> the to street. the farmers market. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. You know, I went to. We have a couple minutes. Yeah. I went to nine to five last night. The oh. musical. Oh my god! It was. She's going to be so, singing that all day. It was so good. Um, and you know what? There weren't as many people. Not, I mean, I was obviously dressed in a, a 70s dress. The movie's uh, placed in 1979, so I was still in the era. No one else was dressed vintage, and only a couple people were dressed even nice. Nice. And I was like, come Shame. on, this is such a great opportunity. Anyways, I'm going to tell Angela all about it, uh, what we're working on. Dolly Parton was... would want you to dress up nice. Yes. I was like, if you haven't gone to see it, there's only a couple, I think, a couple days left, and it was amazing. You should go see it. It's playing at the Citadel. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're here today till five. We know it's gorgeous outside, but even if you have 20 minutes, come stop in, see all of our and beautiful things. And you can bring things. your dog. Yeah, you could bring your dog. <laughs> yeah. And we're here tomorrow, 12 to four. So thanks for watching and um, have a great weekend. See you.